So today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute and easy fish monoprint using a pasta machine. So what you're going to need for this project is a cereal box, scissors, paintbrush, different colors of acrylic paint, this is fun foam, and a paint roller, and a dull pencil. You're also going to need some bubble wrap to experiment with textures, a glue stick, and one of these basic pasta makers. I got this one at a secondhand store. To start, I cut a piece of cardboard from the cereal box that was just about four and a half inches tall. You can't get much wider than that because of the width of the pasta maker, and it's about six inches long. And then what I did was I cut out some pieces out of the fun foam. So I'm just going to go with this fish theme. So I cut out some grass and the fish. And I'm just going to glue them on there with the glue stick. And you don't need a super amount of glue, but you do need enough that it's going to stay on. And especially if you're going to make more than one print, you're probably good to put a good amount of glue on there. Once you've glued your pieces on there, you can go ahead and use your dull pencil and start doing some designs. So if you want to just like put an eyeball in there and maybe put some textures, some little lines on there and some little scale type thing, it's just going to give it a little more interest when you uh, print it out. What you want to do now is very quickly paint over the areas that you want printed. You can use a uh, dryer retardant if you want in the paint so it won't dry so quickly. Otherwise you want to just move really fast. So we're going to uh, plan out our colors, get them all out on there and just really quickly paint the areas. So for the bottom I'm just going to do it kind of basic like that. Maybe put a little bit of red in there. Let's go across like that and then we're going to do the green for the, the plants like that and you can get different brushes all ready to go. Don't worry about cleaning them, you're going to clean them later. So we'll just go like that really super quick and then for the fish we'll do it more yellows and reds like that. And, you know, you don't need a super lot of paint, but you don't want it to dry too quickly either. I'll just go like that, maybe get a bit of this color in there. Okay, so you're going to do that super fast. And then what you want to do is actually get your plain piece of white paper, the same size, and we'll just place it down. And then we'll get another piece of the cereal box, and we'll press those together. And then you want to feed it into the pasta maker. So we've got it here. I've got it set on the uh, widest setting. And we're just going to put it down there. And we're going to turn the handle. You can't see it in the image, but I'm turning the handle. So this is going to go through. And then I'm just going to, it's going to come out the bottom here. Put it down, bring it out, and then when we open it up, you're going to see you have the image on there. And I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to put another little layer on there. So we have the first layer done, and now we want to put a little layer of something that's going to look like water. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to use bubble wrap, and I'm going to actually just Instead of gluing it, I'll just place it on there. And I'm going to roll some blue paint on top. And then what I'll do is I'll place it over top of the picture on the other cardboard, cardboard sandwich them in and stick them through the uh, pasta machine. So I'll get the blue paint. And it's a little thick, so I'm going to add a little bit of water. And just kind of... Mix it around a little bit, okay. and then put the bubble wrap on the cardboard. Get a little bit 
of the watery paint with the roller and then I'm going to roll it on here. It doesn't have to be even. Okay. Let's roll it on. And then I'll get the fish pitcher and place it down on the bubble wrap. We've got the bubble wrap here. I'm going to place it face down on there. Put the other cardboard on top, like a little sandwich, and then we'll stick it through the pasta maker. We'll stick it in there. And then we'll take it out and pull it apart. That and this is the bubble wrap, and we'll pull it off. And we have our fun underwater fish pitcher. So that's it. Here's the finished product. You can always go in with a marker or some more paint and touch it up, put some more details if you want. Here's how we started out with the base here, and just to show you, you can use it again if you want. Uh, if you want these little details to show up more, just put a little thinner layer of paint and that would work well. Uh, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel and if you have any other ideas for DIY videos, let me know. I always like to come up with new ideas. And if you want to share pictures of the things you've made on Instagram, you can at sign Heather Boyd blog or Heather Boyd wire so I can have a look at what you made. Thanks for watching.